Thank you for joining us for another COVID-19 video update. I'm Brittany Puentes, a public health nurse with the Whatcom County Health Department. We'll be covering some highlights from our weekly COVID-19 update news flash and data report. More details can be found on our website. First, we want to remind everyone about their testing options. As we mentioned last week, the Bellingham Airport site has extended their hours, but appointments are in high demand. If you're having COVID-19 symptoms and can't get an appointment within a day or two at that site, or if you've been exposed to someone with COVID-19, you can call us for a same day or next day appointment. Our phone number is 360-778-6075, and you can also email us at the address below. And if you've scheduled an appointment at the airport testing site and don't need it anymore, please remember to go into your test directly account and cancel it. This frees up your time slot for someone else who might need it. Now onto the data. Remember, these updates focused on data through last Saturday, September 18th. We have to wait for complete data from a variety of sources, so our data reports will always cover the previous week. Our case rate hasn't changed much since last week. The daily average of positive COVID-19 cases is below 80, down from 87 at the beginning of this month. Unvaccinated people make up the majority of positive cases in Whatcom County. Even though about 60% of Whatcom residents are vaccinated, 71% of all COVID cases last week involved people who were not vaccinated. Most people hospitalized for COVID-19 in our county are unvaccinated too. Out of the 17 people hospitalized for COVID-19 last week, 13 of them were unvaccinated. For the last few weeks, case rates among people between 25 and 44 years old have been high, but this week we're seeing rates go down for this age group. However, case rates are now highest in children 17 and younger. Unfortunately, two more people died because of COVID-19 in our county last week. One of them, a woman in her 90s was unvaccinated and the other, a woman in her 70s was vaccinated. Keep in mind that as more people in Whatcom County get vaccinated, we may see a rise in the number of breakthrough cases, hospitalizations, and death. About 60% of Whatcom County is fully vaccinated. So for every three people that are fully vaccinated, there are two people who are unvaccinated, including children too young to get the vaccine. The rates for cases and hospitalizations continue to be much higher among unvaccinated people than among vaccinated people. COVID-19 vaccines are incredibly effective at preventing infection hospitalization, severe illness, and death. Currently, almost 75% of Whatcom County residents who are 12 and older have gotten at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, and nearly 60% of all Whatcom County is fully vaccinated. If you have more questions about vaccination, testing, data, isolation and quarantine, or anything else related to COVID-19, you can find answers at whatcomcounty.us forward slash COVID. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.